hello uh, welcome to this lecture so this lecture is in continuation to the previous lecture and in this lecture we are going to discuss this content so in the structure in this subject so far we have discussed and now we understood that structure is everywhere it is it is uh, present in living things or and it is present in the non living thing as well so this is this much understanding now we have so we also know that this application of structure is present in in other field of industry also like in the automobile sector like in the ship building so like in the space sector so this uh, application of structure is uh, in many uh, field of industry but uh, we will understand and we will limit our uh, focus to only the building structures because in our profession we will be dealing with the buildings only so we will focus uh, only on the buildings so now onwards i will be taking example of building only and there are various types of uh, building structures that are available in our surroundings and those buildings are of different types and now those buildings can be classified on various uh, basis now some of those basis i will be showing you uh, and i will be giving you some glimpse of various types of building so as i said structure can be classified in in a number of ways but uh, i will be showing showing you some of them for example structure can be based can be classified on the based of type whether it is a framed structure whether it is it is a shell structure or a membrane structure or a composite structure similarly we can classify structure based on the system what kind of uh, force mechanism is uh, developing in the structure so based on that we can classify our structure as a tensile structure as a compressive structure as a shear uh, structure or bending structure similarly composite structure the next basis on which we can classify our building structure is on on uh, based on the application now uh, or application or the function so based on the function we can classify our structure our building structure as residential buildings or it may be commercial buildings similarly uh, structure can be in the form of bridges can be in the form of canals cooling tower dams railways tunnels so all these structures has different purpose different function so based on different application or function we can uh, classify our structure in this category and structure can also be classified uh, based on the another uh, basis which is based on the material so structure now in this basis uh, basically structure is constructed using a material so the principal material out of which the structure is constructed so based on that principal material we can classify our structure so in that manner structure can be wooden in that uh, woods will be used uh, to construct a structure similarly a structure can be of concrete so in this concrete will be used as a principal material for constructing it similarly a structure can be of steel can be of masonry can be of glass and maybe some other materials also so i will be explaining you all these uh, four bases now as i said structure can be classified in a number of ways so i am just uh, showing you some of those bases now talking about the uh, now based on the type so in this category we may have framed structure we may have shell structure or membrane structure or composite structure so first we will take the example of composite now in case of composite generally uh, we use i mean structure is consisting various elements now those elements can be a horizontal member can be vertical member uh, can be uh, plates like element so uh, in this building this is actually uh, showing the uh, structure of a building and in this building these are the vertical members and these are the horizontal members 
and on the horizontal member some plates are resting like uh, this one so when we construct uh, vertical members and horizontal member and the plates of different material in that case we call it a composite construction for example you can see in the second figure uh, vertical members and horizontal members they are constructed in a steel sections while this plate which we call a slab so this plate is constructed uh, using the concrete so this element is of concrete while the vertical and horizontal member they are uh, of steel so in that case uh, two different materials are used so this uh, now in the building this vertical member is called column and all the horizontal member that you are seeing in this building these uh, horizontal members are actually the beams similarly this plate like element it is actually the slab now based on uh, this type which is a framed building now framed building is uh, lo it looks like this now frame we generally construct a frame framed structure now in the frame structure it is actually the combination of vertical member horizontal member and plates and in this building all the elements are constructed using a single material which is reinforced concrete so in this uh, vertical member horizontal member and plates they all are constructed using the same material and that is why this is the uh, framed uh, structure well the, the first example that i have taken this is also an example of framed but in this we have used two different material say uh, in constructing vertical member and horizontal member we have used steel while for constructing this uh, plate element we have used concrete so frame structure is like that then we have a uh, shell structure so in this uh, the structure forms is like a shell and it looks like this so these kind of structures are generally used uh, for attracting the tourism and these type of buildings uh, they are sometimes uh, are like the museum so uh, you can see the structure of this building is looking like a shell so we can classify this structure as a shell structure similarly we may have another type of structure which is uh, of membrane structure so in this uh, form of the structure is like a membrane like this so these membrane structure can be temporary structure or maybe the uh, permanent structure and in the membrane structure you can see the main element of the structure is like a membrane and this membrane can be shaped into anything into any it can be shaped into any and uh, you can see there are four shapes i am showing here like uh, this one is uh, uh, in the spherical shape and this is actually the inflatable so membrane structures are like uh, in which we can i mean we can inflate them so that is another type of structure which is based on the type similarly on other basis like uh, on the basis of structural system we can classify our structure as a tensile structure as a compressive structure as a shear building or bending structure or composite structure now if we take an example of tensile structure now why we are calling it tensile structure because uh, in the tensile structure the elements that we are using they are mainly uh, used to resist a particular type of force now force is uh, are of various types like uh, the tensile force now tensile force is actually the force which is which pulls the elements like uh, it is actually the pulling force or we can call it uh, it stretch the body similarly compressive force is a force which compress the body so tensile is opposite to compressive tensile generally stretch the body while compressive force generally compress the body similarly Uh, there are some other effects of force like uh, the shear force like the bending force so we will uh, know more about it in the later lectures so based on the tensile structure we can see uh, you can see the the similar structure i have shown you in the previous type also so that in that case it was classified as a membrane structure but uh, the membrane that we are using it is actually carrying the tensile force you can see this uh, membrane which is being used here it is actually stretched 
so this membrane is used for a particular type of force which is the stretching force or we can call it tensile force so such kind of structure can be called as tensile structure so the structural system of uh, this building is such that the members is in the tension similarly we can have compressive structure now if you look at this example in this example there is uh, this is uh, building this is a bridge and in the bridge there is a uh, this uh, the curved member and this curved member is called the arch this is called arch and arch is a member which mainly takes the compressive force so it can resist compressive force similarly this arch is connected with a horizontal member this horizontal member is actually the girder or uh, i mean the deck floor on which the vehicle or uh, traffic moves and this horizontal member is connected with small vertical members so these vertical members are also known as the compressive member why because as the load is coming on this uh, horizontal member so this load is passed on the arch with the help of these small vertical members so these vertical members are acting as a column which is taking the compressive force so this because this force is trying to compress uh, these small vertical members so that is why these members are acting as a compression member you can see the enlarged version here so you can see uh, this is the vertical force and it is actually trying to compress similarly in the second example you can see uh, this is the example of rock so in between this this rock is under the compression because of the vertical load and from the downward also so it is offering the reaction so this rock is under the compression it is actually trying to compress because of the load so the building in which we use uh, compression member those building may be classified as a compressive building similarly based on the elements that we use uh, to resist a particular type of force uh, that is a shear force so as i said shear force and bending i will discuss i will uh, tell about them in detail in the later lectures so for the for the time being we will consider that this shear force and bending is also an effect of the force and for resisting the shear force and bending we provide a particular element in our building for example you can see this vertical uh, vertical plate this vertical plate is actually called the shear wall this is called shear wall so this shear wall is provided to resist the effect of shear similarly uh, some of the elements that we provide in our building they tend to bend so now in the same building you can see there are some horizontal member like this one like this one so these horizontal members they are called the beams and on these beams uh, a plate is resting which is actually the slab so because of the load of this plate these beam will try to bend like this they will try to bend like this so because we are using these uh, bending structures which is bending under the load so sometimes we call we classify our building on the basis of the member which is uh, bending okay so now we can classify our building on other basis like uh, on the basis of the application or the purpose for which we are using or we are constructing our building so those building can be residential so in the residential we construct our building residential where people live similarly we can have commercial building like the office building or uh, like the shopping mall shopping complex so those buildings comes under the category of commercial building similarly we can have bridge uh, so bridges we generally provide to uh, to cross something like the river so we generally can say if we construct a bridge on the river then what what is the purpose like we want to cross the river so for that purpose we are constructing the bridges so in that case application is for crossing similarly we uh, construct canals so canals are basically the artificial channels through which uh, we maneuver the water flow so like as i said the residential building looks like this like the home our home comes under the category of residential building similarly we can have commercial building so commercial building can be a office building or 
any shopping complex shopping mall so that they, they comes under the category of uh, commercial build, building similarly we can have bridges so bridges can be constructed over i mean on the sea or over the river so the main purpose of bridges is for the crossing similarly we can have canals so canals are the artificial channel so you may have seen uh, such kind of uh, channels through which water is flowing so our purpose is like we have to transfer this water to a particular field or particular area so for that generally we construct artificial uh, channels similarly we can have uh, dams so the purpose of dam is to store the water the excess water and uh, protect the area from flooding similarly we have another type of structure which is the tunnel so tunnel is again uh, we construct for the crossing purpose so tunnel can be uh, in in the hilly area it can be uh, in the in the plain area also like uh, this tunnel this photo i have taken this tunnel is of delhi metro so in the delhi metro some of the part is uh, constructed underground so for uh, moving underground we are constructing the tunnels so tunnels is again a type of structure and purpose of it is uh, for the movement similarly as i said we can classify our building structures based on the material used for the construction so in that case we can have timber uh, building or wooden building so wooden building may will look like this in that case you can see all the elements are constructed using the woods similarly we can have concrete building so in the concrete building all the elements are primarily constructed using the concrete so all the parts you can see all the vertical member walls uh, beams so all these are constructed using the concrete so this building will be classified as a concrete building similarly we can have steel building so in the steel building all the elements mostly all the mostly the elements will be of steel material like in this case you can see the vertical members the cross members they all are of steel similarly we can have masonry building so in the in case of masonry we can have a different type of uh, building blocks like the bricks we can have stones so this building you can see this building is constructed using the bricks and uh, this is called brick masonry building similarly we can have stone masonry building also in that case we will be using stones for constructing the building and we may have glass building so in the glass uh, the building will be looking like this so these are some of the uh, example of structure based on various basis so we will continue our discussion in the next part thank you